amigos, bom dia e sejam tão bem-vindos a mais um videozinho. Ora bem, hoje vou falar um bocadinho da história do Skoda Favorite. É pá, eu nestas minhas voltas uh, pela internet descobri um vídeo muito porreiro. Um vídeo promocional da Skoda de 1988 relativamente ao Skoda Favorite. O Skoda Favorite foi o dos primeiros modelos da Skoda a seguir a tendência europeia de ter o motor à frente e tração dianteira. Até aí, como vocês sabem, e se não sabem ficam a saber, a grande maioria dos motores da Skoda eram colocados atrás. Uh, basta vocês verem o Skoda, o, o 1100 e afins, todos tinham um motor atrás e tração traseira. Ora bem, o favorito foi então dos primeiros a ter um motor dianteiro e tração dianteira. E então a Skoda, na altura, fez um vídeo em que eles mostram como foi feita como foi estudado e desenhado o Skoda favorito. Estudado, desenhado, produzido, pronto, eles mostram uma data de coisas. E portanto, e vocês sabem que eu adoro ir buscar estas pérolas de, da história do, do mundo automóvel uh, para vos trazer. E é precisamente isso que eu trago hoje. Como foi feito o Skoda favorito em 1988. O vídeo tem qualidade de 1988, pronto, já lá vão 22 anos. Uh, epá, mas dá para perceber bem e dá para vocês verem bem como eram feitos os carros há 20 e tal anos atrás epá, e a Skoda nesta altura se não estava ainda debaixo da cortina de ferro tinha saído há relativamente pouco tempo ainda não estava debaixo da alçada do grupo Volkswagen uh, portanto as coisas eram bastante diferentes e é um vídeo muito, muito engraçado de se ver para quem gostar deste tipo de coisas portanto por hoje então está tudo. Espero que gostem. Até para a próxima. Grande abraço. Safety and reliability are among the most important aspects of the modern family car. The Skoda favorite excels in both these aspects. Exacting tests, both on the road and in our laboratories, have proven this beyond any doubt. In our test laboratories, the engineers put this new car through grueling test procedures. The more modern the equipment, the harder the tests. Complex electrohydraulic and mechanical test benches are coupled to electronic measuring equipment and linked to computers. This rear axle is a vital part of the car. Safety and comfort are generally based on this one item, depending on the road surface and driving style. The favorite's handling is superb because its suspension system works superbly. 
But before we were satisfied, over 20 different constructions were tested and put aside. Computers calculated the reliability of this design and their expectations exceeded 300,000 kilometers. Durability testing is aimed at various vital parts such as these engine supports. In a round-the-clock test cycle, this engine mounting is exposed to vibrations that simulate common road conditions exactly. Springs undergo the same type of torture under maximum dynamic loads, giving good indications of the life expectancy of these items. The McPherson front axle shows triangular lower wishbones and telescopic struts built together with the shock absorbers. Again, a most important, if not vital, part of the automobile when safety and comfort are concerned. Electronic testing shows its value here, as the front suspension is subjected to four different loads which can be gauged, measured and evaluated simultaneously and independently. All programs are computer controlled from one data center. Computer-aided design is a reliable tool of the designer, not only because it is fast and convenient, but also because the possibility of human error is eliminated. This is why Skoda has adapted this technology of the future today. Safety is an all-enveloping aspect of the Skoda design philosophy. Any new Skoda car should not only show above-average active and passive safety features, but it must be safe for its environment as well. Exhaust gas emissions and evaporation of fuel are under constant scrutiny of the best Skoda engineers. The emissions laboratory was founded to comply with all legal requirements and more. Tests performed cover a wide spectrum. The shed test on the evaporation of hydrocarbons. City driving cycle performed on a chassis dynamometer with the aid of computer simulation. Gear change points are indicated on the monitor. Sample analysis of exhaust gases. Test results are monitored by the computer that later evaluates the given data. The correctness of the emission control must be guaranteed for at least 80,000 kilometers under conditions that are specified exactly. And these are observed most obediently by the automatic driver, a robot that accelerates, brakes and changes gear, or slows down, or starts precisely as the program prescribes. Noise is another emission factor. Even after long hours of driving, the Skoda favorite driver should feel relaxed and comfortable to best control his machine. Dynamometer tests have played an important role in lowering the outside and interior noise of the Skoda favorite. The vibration level is acceptable at any given engine speed. Even when the rev counter reads 5,000 or more, it does not interfere with the feeling of comfort that the passengers experience.
This noise laboratory enables our engineers to test and develop solutions that solve any problems deriving from driving unit mountings to body insulation. Test drivers and engineers have the last word, however. They work on test facilities, on road and track, on dry surfaces or the most slippery tracks, in extreme cold or intense heat. These tests must and will prove that every aspect and each little detail is perfect. Driver's visibility, for example. The tilting headlamps assure the best view on the road, even when the car is fully loaded. Perfect handling, superior stability, the assuring action of the power-assisted brakes, they all add to the feeling of complete control, of active safety, that demanding drivers ask of their motor car today. And in the case where an accident cannot be avoided, passive safety is first and foremost in our minds. Crash tests have proven that the Skoda favourite not only passes with flying colours, it also surpasses most of its competitors under these most unfortunate circumstances. The test speed is 50 kilometers per hour against a solid barrier. The impact tells a sorry tale if any aspect of the car's design does not allow it to pass legal requirements. In this case, the so-called driver remains unhurt as he is not touched by penetration of any part or item into the passenger compartment.
What's more, all other aspects of the safety survey score full marks. All doors can be opened without any undue effort. The driver's area is almost unaffected. The windshield glass is still in its mounting. The seats are firmly held by their anchorage. No part of the crashed front end is a menace to personal safety. And rolling the car confirms that no leaks have occurred. Fuel tank and linings are all intact and show no leakage. The battery stays put, so there's no danger of a short circuit or fire. The end balance is most favourable for the Skoda favourite. This is a car that was tested for reliability, durability and safety. Qualities that you will come to appreciate when you need or expect them most. One day, you will see the value of our work.